Okay, we are going to do an experiment today. I'm just shooting from the hip on this one. I just kind of made it up in my mind, which might be a bad idea. But anyway, I'm going to attempt to make twisted tea. So, what I've got here is my pot with the lid. I've got my bag for my grains. I have two pounds of malt. Uh, one of them's a Belgian Pilsner malt. I don't even know why I got that. I don't think I ordered it, but it was in my package of stuff. And some Maris Otter. I also have a couple of tea bags that I'm going to use instead of hops to begin with. I'm probably going to put a little corn sugar in that, maybe to up the alcohol content. I'm not sure. And this is where we're getting into like a cross between wine and beer, tea, whatever. Um, I've got some Camden tablets to stop the fermentation and I've got some wine conditioner which is basically uh, like a potassium sorbate type stuff. Yeah, potassium sorbate. Which this won't ferment but it'll actually kind of back sweeten it a little bit. And then whenever I actually go to bottle it I'm going to, I've got some of these uh, cold brew tea bags. When I go to bottle it or whatever and stuff, I'm actually going to make up some of the, this cold tea and probably also get some, like, maybe Kool-Aid or some lemon juice, I'm not sure, for the, the lemon side of that. And then I will actually put that in there before I bottle it. So, stick around. Wish me luck. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Like I said, I'm only making one gallon of this because, like I said, if it turns out terrible, I don't want to have wasted a bunch of money on it. So, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to use about a, probably not quite two gallons of water in this for the grain absorption stuff. And I'm probably going to boil it for only maybe half an hour at the most. But I am going to go ahead and mash it, so I'm going to actually put that in the oven to mash it. Just set my oven real low. So we'll fill this up and get it started. Okay, I've got my thermometer in here to check my temperatures. I'm probably going to match this right at about 150. Uh, I want a little bit of sweetness to it, but I also want it a little bit on the higher alcohol side by the time I dilute it with the tea and all that stuff. So as soon as this gets to probably, I'd say, 150, I'm going to mash in. So stay tuned. Okay, we've reached our mash temp of 150. So I'm going to mash these in. Like I said, I hope this turns out and stuff because I really like the twisted tea, so. And it is a malt beverage, so. And then, they're fruity, fruity malt beverages. Yeah. Save these just simply because of the fact that it's a nice heavy bag. I tend to save absolutely everything. I don't know why. Dough ball. And I have turned on the oven to 150. And I'll put this in there. the temp again and make sure that I don't know what we might have to bring that back up a little. Well, looks like we're pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put the lid on that and put it in the oven. And I did take the top rack out. I'm gonna mash that for probably an hour just to make sure. I've never worked with the pills or malt before, so I don't know. So we're gonna set that for an hour and we'll be back. Okay, my timer went off, so I'm gonna get this out of the oven. Temperature ran between 150 and about 154. 
uh, with about, I had about, oh, 20 minutes left, and I actually turned the oven completely off. So, let's see. I have hands of steel. <laughs> Didn't even need these. So, let's see. Stir this up and see what we got. And I'm going to take just a little bit of this, and this is going to be really light colored. You can barely even see it on the, which is fine because the tea will add the color that I need. So, let me do a real quick starch test, and I'll zoom down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, you can see my liquid right here. Barely see any of it. So, a little iodine, and let's see and make sure it doesn't turn purple on me. If it does, I'll have to mash it for a little longer. And, see the color of that? It's kind of a purplish color. So I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to leave it for probably another 15, probably another 15 minutes. So like I said, this it's probably this Pilsner malt. So like I said, I've never used this before, so I'm not familiar with it. a sort of good stir and then do one more test before I put it back in there. Okay. Okay, and you can see it right here. Let's test. It's like I said, if this turns purple, I'm going to put it back in there for a little bit longer. And see this purple? I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it's not converted, so I'm going to put it back in there. I'm in no big hurry, so turn the oven back on. And I'll leave that for, it's like I said, I think I'll do another 15 minutes. So. We'll be back, and I'll probably might go ahead and put this on the stove and raise it up to 170 for a mash out. I'll just have to play it by ear. So like I said, this is a complete and total experiment, so I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Okay, we put that another 15 that minutes later. Let's see if we've converted. I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go ahead and heat this on the uh, stove. So I'll turn the oven off. It's pretty much converted, but I think I'm going to go ahead and boost it on up to probably uh, like 170 or 180 for the mash out on that. Let's see if I can't convert all that. So that's what we'll do. We're going to turn this up some. So. I'll turn that up. I'll put my thermometer back in it. Set the max temperature. One. I'm going to set the temperature to 170. Come back when that goes off. Okay, I went up to 170 on a temperature and we got starch conversion now. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull my thermometer out. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this bag. If I can reach Stuff here. 
see my colander will fit. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. And we'll let that drain for a few minutes. And after that drains, I'll pull that colander out. And I'm probably going to use these grains for dog treats. So, we'll leave that for a few minutes and we'll be back. So, we're going to go ahead and boil this. Like I said, I'm probably only going to boil this for about 20 minutes. Uh, I don't think, since I'm not doing hop additions or anything like that, I don't think boiling it for the full 60 minutes is necessary. And they say if there's any... Uh, <clears throat> DMS in there, it usually boils off within like the first 15 minutes, so uh, I'll probably do 15-20 minutes on that, maybe up to a half an hour, I'm not sure, but uh, until it's really, really light, which is, as I said, that's fine because the tea is going to color that, so that's basically what I'm looking for, and we'll go ahead and boil that, and then I'll get it, take it over to the sink, and we'll get okay, it it's been boiling for approximately 20-25 oh, minutes, I didn't keep a real close eye on it. So now I've turned the heat off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and well anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and put these uh, tea bags in here now. So I'm going to let them steep for probably 15 minutes, and then we're going to. Go ahead and move this over and chill it. So, don't smell too bad. It smells kind of like tea. It's like so the purpose of the tea bags isn't really to flavor it right now and stuff, but it does have some tannins and stuff in the tea. So, I don't know if that'll make a difference or not. Just like I said, I'm just guessing on this. So, so I said we'll steep these for about 15 minutes and then we'll okay, be back. Get this in the sink to cool off, and I'll probably come in here and. Give this a stir every once in a while. Like I said, I'm going to let these tea bags sit in here for probably all another 10 minutes and then I'll pull them out. But, so I'm just going to just cool this down and it's going to have some break on it and stuff because I could tell from looking at it or whatever it's separated quite a bit. So, we'll be back. Okay, get ready to pour my. Tea, beer, work, whatever you want to call it, into here. I think I better stop there. <laughs> Chugging away nicely. This is my twisted tea experiment. Wish me luck. <laughs>